Good morning and welcome to the video for fourth grade for Friday, April the 17th. Uh, this is going to cover our lesson on parallel and perpendicular lines. So um, I think this is a really easy lesson. I'm going to try to um, go through this as quickly as possible, um, but I will leave you a couple pauses um, so that you can do the drawing that you need to. So what we're going to start with is just talking about what the lines are. And we will kind of try to relate this to streets as well, because this is where we're normally going to run into these things in the real world. So intersecting lines are going to be uh, lines that cross at exactly one point. So this point here would be the intersection. And we use that word intersect um, just like we would use where two streets come together. Um, parallel lines. And our parallel lines could, um, it's difficult to see with this symbol, they have the, the little arrows. So if we just have the straight line um, without the arrow, then it's going to be from single point to single point and stop. Just like if I were to hold up this pencil, it's gonna have a definite start and a definite end. It's not gonna keep going in both directions forever. Um, the example that they're giving does. Um, so we'll, we'll come into that in just a few moments. So parallel lines are going to be uh, the same distance apart and they are going to be traveling in the same direction at the same angle. It doesn't have to be, if I had a second pencil to go along with this, like this. They could be angled, um, they could run vertically, they could run horizontally, they could run at an angle, but they're at the same angle to each other um, and the same distance apart um, is the way that they explain that. So it's not something where it gradually gets closer together like my hands are right now or gradually gets further apart if you're looking from bottom to top. Uh, perpendicular lines are going to be lines that intersect but form four right angles. So it is possible for lines to intersect like for instance like this where we do not have a single uh, 90 degree or right angle. Um, so this would be an example of where all four lines meet and create a right angle. And so there's our symbol for that. So the two lines like this, kind of like a um, vertical equal sign, instead of looking like this, uh, means that they're running parallel. And if we have something that looks like an intersection, um, that is going to mean that they um, are running perpendicular um, in this case, it doesn't give what the intersection point is. Um, so let's take a look at this. So um, if we look at West 35th and 7th Avenue, which is the closest one uh, as I'm looking at the picture, that is going to be intersecting. And you can see where they intersect. Um, if I'm comparing these two, and so this would be West 36th and uh, 37th, uh, our bottom one, these two lines run parallel to each other. I'm sorry, this one should be perpendicular because they intersect, but they intersect at a uh, right angle. And then our other option would be our intersecting lines. So let's go ahead and take a look. I'm gonna skip this top part here. We're gonna end up doing uh, plenty of drawing uh, during this lesson. So uh, the first part for Sharon show they want us to draw and we're going to have line segments. So our line segments are going to begin and end at a point. So you can go ahead and draw those in. And I'm going to kind of make a rectangle here. And then I'm just going to connect the dots top to bottom or sorry, not top to bottom. First the top, then the bottom. Um, so this could be my QR, this could be my ST, or either way. Um, and then let's talk about this part. I'm not going to take the time to label. Um, name two line segments that appear to be parallel. So there are two sets of lines that could be parallel to each other, and I'm kind of drawing them out with my mouse. So um, CB and DF are parallel to each other. And then CD and BF are also parallel to each other. Um, the line segments that appear to be perpendicular. So where do you see an intersection? 
So take a moment and think about that. There are possibly uh, four different answers for this. Um, so one of the answers could be um, B, C intersecting at CD, um, BF intersecting at FD. Um, we could say that um, DC intersects here and DF intersects here or any kind of variation with that. So we could start at any one of these points, travel in a direction till we hit the end and be at a uh, line that would be perpendicular to the line that uh, we travel along. So there are four line, uh, uh, four line segments. So we could do that for all four of those. It just depends on where we would start, how we would label those. Um, so let's take a look at our next page. Um, and for number four, if we are, we're looking for perpendicular lines, we would look at um, things like this, where they don't run parallel, but this line AB comes across or intersects through the line for DC. Okay, so parallel what we are going to look for is two sets of lines or line segments that are parallel to each other. And there's only one of those. So I'll give you a second to think about what that is. And what we have is the line for DC runs parallel to the line for FJ. And I'm not gonna take the time to write it in just to get the video a little bit shorter. Um, I will draw these in, however. So let's go ahead and take a look at KL and KM. So what we see is a point, and that point is going to be K. And we are going to have two rays that travel out in different directions. One is going to form the ray KL, one of them is going to form the ray KM. So you get to choose how you want to do that. Um, I am going to go this direction for one of them, and I'm going to put my point, and then we'll continue and I'll put my line, and then I'm going to draw another one out this way. They don't have to be at a right angle. Um, they can, as long as they're going in different directions, it's going to kind of look like anything that you could get on a clock with the hour hand and the minute hand, as long as they're not traveling in the same direction, could be a possible answer for this, except I would argue that we cannot have a straight line that would look like this. So let's say here is L and here is M and K is in the middle. That one is probably not going to work. Anything that's not that or both of them traveling in exactly the same direction like what we would get um, with our hour and minute hand for uh, 12 o'clock even, like that would be our other example that probably uh, wouldn't be allowed to work. Um, so let's take a look at number nine now. So we have um, two lines um, that are going to run perpendicular to each other. So at some point, there is going to be an intersecting point. Um, so let's go ahead and I'm going to make uh, JK first. And then I'm going to make LM. And that's not the best line ever, but it will work in a pinch. So this would be J, this would be K, this would be L, this would be M. And so I have two lines with the, that go through both of those points, and they will have um, an intersection at some point, and they are perpendicular lines. Or trying to be they're intersecting at least I'm trying to draw it perpendicular because that would be um, and sorry this would be the one that would be perpendicular for the purposes of number four uh, these would be intersecting sorry I just caught that I've 
misspoke on that. Number 11, so we are going to have parallel lines again. And this time we are actually going to have lines instead of line segments that I mentioned from number six. So it's going to look essentially exactly the same as what we did on the other page, except those two uh, things are going to continue past where we draw. So we're gonna draw the arrows to show that. And just for ease, I'm going to label the top one AB. I'm going to label the bottom one FG. There is no obligation to make this one be the top one versus the bottom one. You just have to label both things. So um, there's no, it doesn't matter. Like just because this comes first doesn't mean the first thing that you draw or like if you did this vertically like this, that the left hand one that is the one that you have to label. It, I'm just choosing to do that. So hopefully that makes sense for you guys. Um, I tried to keep the lesson a little bit short, but uh, I know this has gotten uh, a little bit past the 10 minute mark. So um, hopefully this makes sense for you. Um, I think this is a really easy idea to understand, but I wanted to make sure I explained it as fully as I can so that you do understand it. So if you have any questions, please feel free to post in the comments. The homework video for this will come out Friday evening. Um, so that will be at about 6 p.m. So pretty quick turnaround. Um, I'll probably already have uh, the video for the homework recorded uh, before you guys actually get to see this particular video. Um, so if I do that, I will go ahead and post a link for the um, homework video um, already available. I don't know if you'll be able to view it until it goes live at 6 p.m., but I'll try and see what, see what happens. So... I uh, hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow.